How's it going, everybody? How's it going? <clears throat> Y'all know the drill. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You will not regret it. Because I got more content coming along the way. So, how everybody's doing on this wonderful, wonderful, tremendous Monday? Oh, by the way, share this video. And turn your notifications on. So, every time I upload a video, y'all be the first one to see it. So anyway, let's get right to this topic, shall we? And let's cut the small talk. I ain't gonna do too much on here, but let's get right into it. You have them shook. People are intimidated by your next move. Be low-key and move in silence. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, chosen ones, star seeds, spiritual warriors. <coughs> Excuse me. It is very important, very, very important to keep your next move on the low. Keep it on the hush. Because let me tell y'all something. A lot of people out here are thrilling and they are trying to get behind the scenes by trying to know your next move. These days, people are very nosy. They will do anything. And I mean anything just to see what your next move is. They will even ask you information of what you got going on. And you ain't got to tell them all that either. Because it's none of their business, to be honest. But people, they could be so slick with it too. They could try to post the other to be your friend. And the moment you turn your back, that's when they're going to strike like a snake. Like I said in my other video, they smile in your face, whole time they want to take your place, the backstabbers. Don't you ever, and I mean never, let a snake slither into your life. Because this snake will post it up as a friend, trying to get some information, trying to know your next move and everything. This is why they say, keep the grass cut. And I mean keep it cut. So you can keep them snakes out of your yard. But if you keep that grass high and higher, there could be a whole lot of snakes in that yard that you never knew or you never going to see because you keep the grass so high. It is very important to keep your grass low cut. Like my haircut. You see, I keep that cut right. That's the way you should keep your grass. Keep it cut. Keep them snakes out of your yard. And I mean it. Keep them out of your grass. Cause let me tell y'all something. These so-called friends, these frenemies, aka snakes, they will try their best to slip in right into your yard if you're not paying attention. It's best very important to keep your move and all your ideas, and all your plans, on the shh, be quiet, don't say nothing, like juvenile, shh, be quiet, the night is the night, where y'all get the picture, shout out to juvenile by the way, but anyways, it is best to move in silence, because when you move in silence, people don't know nothing, all they're going to do is assume, and act like they know. But the whole time they don't know nothing. They're just talking out the butt crack. They come up with these silly ideas in their head. Acting like they know something about you. But the whole time they don't. And they would get very upset. But you don't tell them nothing. But let me put y'all on game. If they ever ask y'all something about y'all personal life. Or about, your, about information out of you. Hell, they even ask you how old you is. Tell them a lie. Get them false information. Because you know what you're saying, right? Won't know, won't hurt. And people don't know how to know everything about you. Let's just say you're 28 or 27. And they ask you, how old is you? They say, I'm 25 or 24. Make sure you think it right ahead. Because these people will come up to you asking questions. Like they Sherlock Holmes or somebody. They're trying to solve a mystery about you. 
Mm -hmm. I'll say this. Scooby-Doo, Shaggy, Fred, Velma, and Daphne, they couldn't solve a mystery about me because you know why? I would keep my moves on the hush, on the plan. Even Sherlock Holmes will be able to figure me out. And that's how y'all got to be as well. Stop telling y'all business to other people because they're going to go back and tell others. Because a lot of people don't want to see you make it. And not only that, when you don't tell them nothing and you mind your business, these people be scared. They be so intimidated. They be shook by you. They shook ones, like Mob D. Ain't no such thing as halfway crooks, scared to death, they're scared to look. They scared to look at y'all. Every time you come in their presence, they head is down. They can't even talk to you. Even when you trying to hand them something, or when they hand you something, their hands start to shake. Because they know they in the preference of a spiritual warrior. That is you, sir. That is you, ma'am. They in, they in the presence of a chosen one and a star seed. This is why their hands start shaking. They get intimidated by you. They start getting nervous. They start getting shakes and stuff. Because you know why? They are shook. They're so scared of you. They're like, Ugh, I'm so scared of him. He need to get out of here. She need to get out of here. He got me scared. But the whole time you mind your business. <laughs> oh, I tell you. You intimidate people's demons. When you're doing your own thing. When you're not like everybody else. When you keep all your moves on the hush. They baby going to get intimidated. They're going to start acting funny every time you come in the room. Or when you come in their presence. And energy don't lie. You will feel it. Every time you come near them or they come near you, you're going to, it's like you're going to sense this demonic negative energy on these people. They're going to start rolling their eyes. That's number one. Number two, that body language is going to speak exactly how they feel. Number three, with reference to number two, their actions going to speak louder than their words. Number four, they're going to ignore you. You can say hi to them, that's to be nice. They ignore you. You be like, damn, what I do? Attitude? <laughs> but that's how selfish and stupid they are. Doodle head donkeys. With their doodle -doo attitude. And that breath smell that's like it. Doodle -doo funk attitude. They wake up with their demonic spirit inside of them. When they can't figure out how to beat the chosen one, the spiritual warrior, the star seed. Hmm. These people ain't living right out here. They shook. All up in people's business. Trying to see what they got going on. Yeah, they may pull it out on other people. But when it come to you, they can't figure you out. Even they hurt, no, excuse me, even if they had Sherlock Holmes or Shaggy and Scooby Doo, they couldn't even get the job done. Can't nobody figure you out. The only one can figure you out is God. But these other clowns, these other idiots, these other titty head, doo doo head monkeys out here, they can't figure y'all out. Even if they try on their best day. They still weren't able to win because you had the ability to move in silence. Street smart, book smart. They ain't got that, but guess who got it? You do. You have all of these things, and you know when to be quiet, and you know when to speak up. But around these people, these nosy folks, y'all got to stop moving in silence. Because you don't want to take your ideals to the wrong one and then go back out and spread it. Or worse, take your ideal and then you're going to be somewhere looking stupid. 
Don't tell nobody, and I mean nobody, your visions or your ideas or your plans. Because not everybody deserves to know. Will God share a vision or put a vision into your head or into your mind, your soul? It's best for you to keep it and work on it on yourself. Don't tell your family or friends because they will be the quick to shut it down. They could try to discourage you, trying to say you ain't going to do it. What makes you think you can do that? You just like us. Uh, I may come from the same family as you, but guess what? I'm different. Like two chains. I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. You different. You stand out. That's what got people so intimidated and jealous by you. Because you stand out. You don't go tell your business. And most importantly, you are a star in the room. Every time you walk up in that room, you outshine everybody into that room. And they know it too. They know you a star. Whoever you are. And they can't stand it. It eats them up alive. This is why every time you come around, they turn their head or they get a funky attitude. But it's okay, because guess what? God is going to bless you in the midst of your enemies. Don't y'all forget that. It's okay if people want to act, what's the word? If people want to act stupid towards you or act childish or immature, guess what? It ain't got nothing to do with you. It's something got to do with them. They the problem, not you. But always remember, move in silence, be low key, and don't tell nobody your next move. So with that being said, I need for everybody to share this video, turn your notifications on once again, subscribe, leave a comment below on the bottom of this video if this video resonated with you. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up, by the way. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, move in silence. I don't care if you intimidate people. Do what's best for you, and you will get the victory at the end.